Uh, greetings everyone. Uh, in this video I will be looking at uh, exam type question uh, on linear algebra. The focus of the video will be looking at the requirements for merit. Uh, some of the skills uh, uh, you'll need uh, will be forming and using linear models, uh, relating findings to a given uh, context by recommending a company based on the time of flight and also communicating uh, thinking using appropriate mathematical models. In my previous video, I have already covered uh, the uh, achieve uh, skills that are required for this achievement standard. Uh, please do um, uh, watch that video. So here's the um, problem that uh, we have been uh, looking at. Uh, so the example uh, says, uh, during the holiday season, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Kumar are heading uh, to the Bay of Islands and plan to take a scenic flight. Uh, they've got three codes from uh, different uh, scenic flight companies at the Kerikiri Airport. The codes uh, given below are for two L's. And uh, so we've given uh, three companies here, Fearless uh, Flights charges uh, a booking fee of uh, $20 plus 65 cents uh, per minute uh, flying. Uh, Kiwi Air has a flat fee of uh, $65 uh, for uh, flights up to two and a half hours. And the price quoted by Ritz Air um, has been graphed below. They also have uh, three options to choose from. The first option uh, um, is a quick 30-minute uh, uh, scenic flight. Second option, uh, one-hour scenic flight. And the third option, uh, full two-hour scenic flight. So in uh, the uh, previous video, uh, we uh, looked at the achieve uh, skill. And uh, the question that we covered was, uh, depends on how much time they can take out for this activity. Uh, recommend which company uh, Mr. and Mrs. Kumar should uh, choose and uh, give a reason why and uh, clearly communicate your findings by showing full working. So please do uh, check that video out. So for merit, uh, the task says that during bad weather, such as rain or strong winds, the flights might take more time than anticipated for each option. Uh, give uh, the range of uh, flight times uh, for each option, uh, including uh, maximum cost, then recommend uh, which company Mr. and Mrs. Kuma should choose and give a reason why. So this task requires you to find the range of flight times uh, for each uh, option that's available. So from uh, previous video, we have already worked out the um, uh, equations for each of the three companies that are there. So VLS uh, flights, for example, is given by um, 0.65 T plus 20 and uh, so forth. So if you look at the uh, graph here, the, the red line, which is for VLS uh, flights, uh, intersects with the um, uh, green line for uh, rich ear and uh, we can uh, then uh, look at the uh, point of intersection for uh, these two lines. So first we'll uh, find the point of intersection between uh, fearless flights and uh, rich ear. So I've got those uh, two there. So we'll put the equations and we'll solve it simultaneously. So uh, using substitution method y is equal to y. So we've got y function is for fearless flights, which is 0.65 t plus 20. And that is same as uh, 0.25 t plus 40, because that's where they meet. So the values will be same. And uh, what we do is uh, we uh, quickly solve uh, uh, the uh, equation simultaneously. So I'll try and collect all the um, like terms on one side. So all the variables on uh, one side of the equation and numbers on the other side. So 0.25t uh, is positive. If I switch sides, I will switch signs. So positive becomes negative. So it's negative 0.25t on the other side. And this plus 20 here goes on the other side of the equal sign, which is now minus uh, 20. And uh, we'll simplify by collecting like terms. So 0.65t uh, take away 0.25t simplifies to 0.4t, uh, which is equal to uh, 40 take away 20, uh, which is 20. And then, of course, we're solving for uh, uh, t value here. So divide by 0.4. And uh, we end up with 50 minutes. And uh, this is the time value when the two lines intersect. And it is clearly seen on this graph, as you can see here. When the time is 50 minutes, the two lines intersect. And uh, then we need the value of the cost. Remember, the question says uh, give the uh, maximum cost for each section where it's cheapest. So we will, uh, we already know from the uh, graph that the red line is cheapest from 0 to 50, 50, and uh, 50 will give the maximum cost for uh, 
the red line and that is for uh, fearless flights so how will i find the um, cost value what i will do is i will uh, substitute t value 50 in either of the two equations so i will just pick uh, one of the uh, two equations and substitute time value of 50 minutes so our cost is given by 0 0.65 t plus 20 so this t will be replaced by 50 as you can see here please grab a calculator and work this out and that comes to $52.50 so here we got $52.50 uh, as a cost value so we have got uh, three options so option one was when the time um, of flight was uh, 30 minutes and this is the uh, dot line here and uh, option two is uh, when it's one hour which is 50, uh, 60 minutes so that will be for Ritz here as you can see and option three is the um, uh, two hour flight which is 120 minutes and that is uh, for Kiwi Air, which will be the cheapest for um, uh, option three. But then we need to give the range of values. So uh, we know for sure that uh, the uh, fear, fearless flights is uh, cheapest uh, from uh, zero to uh, 50 minutes. So first 50 minutes of the flying time we know uh, that uh, fearless flights is cheapest so we will uh, try and uh, put these uh, information together so fearless flights uh, are cheapest for up to uh, 50 minutes of flying uh, with a maximum cost of 52 dollars and 50 and we have uh, shown the working how we um, got that value there uh, because it was harder to uh, read uh, from the uh, the graph we would have been guessing what that number is and then uh, it says therefore i recommend them to uh, use fearless flights if they opt for a quick scenic flight option so if they're going for option one which is quick scenic flight um so they are recommended to um uh, go with um fearless flights because it's uh, cheapest and uh, even if the weather is bad they will have a maximum cost of uh, up to uh, 52 dollars and 50 cents so we'll do the same thing with the um, uh, second option. So a point of uh, intersection for second option uh, between uh, Ritz Air and uh, Kiwi Air. It's easily read from the graph. As you can see, the uh, second option uh, is uh, uh, Ritz Air is cheapest uh, for second option, and it's between uh, 50 and uh, 100. So it's between 50 and 100 minutes of uh, flying time and uh, to get the um, cost so it's very easy this time we don't have to uh, solve it simultaneously we can just read it off uh, from the graph so for 100 minutes the maximum uh, cost will be same as the um, price for kiwi air here and uh, that is 65 dollars so the point of intersection is 100 uh, minutes uh, with with a maximum cost of uh, 65 dollars and uh, this is same as uh, Kiwi Air. So I recommend them to use uh, Ritz Air for option two. Now for the third option, you can see that uh, Kiwi Air is um, uh, cheapest. So beyond 100 minutes of flying time uh, for option three, so full scenic flight, they should choose um, Kiwi Air as it is the uh, cheapest uh, option with uh, a fixed cost of uh, $65. So for merit, you just need to uh, interpret and uh, give a range of values um, that the question is asking. So in this case, uh, we can see that the option one was uh, for 30 minutes of flying time, but due to bad weather, it can uh, be more than 30 minutes. And uh, so in this instance, option one, uh, fearless flights were cheapest up to 50 minutes right so we recommend them to use this one and then the green one here reads here between 50 and 100 minutes of flying time so even if the bed weather it takes uh, 20 30 minutes extra they will still be able to fly with rich here with a maximum cost of uh, $65 and for option 3 it's a fixed cost of uh, $65 uh, flying with uh, Kiwi Air hope it makes sense uh, in the next video I will be looking at the uh, requirements for excellence uh, here's a quick summary of uh, what we have just covered so uh, the skills required for merit uh, is uh, forming and using linear models uh, relating findings to a uh, given context by re recommending a company based on time of flight so based on time of flight means uh, giving range of values uh, um, 
uh, that will be cheapest for uh, each option and also communicating findings uh, using uh, appropriate mathematical uh, statements. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.